Hi everybody, I'm Bernat Ferrero, one of the founders at Factorial, and today I want to walk through the new releases that we did at Factorial in the last three months. Before I start, let me explain to you that Factorial is organized in three categories. Operations, time management and payroll, talent development and finance. So we'll start with talent development. So here you can see my screen. This is the dashboard of Factorial where you can see that I clocked in. I have all the overview of the direct reports, my teams, the absences, what I have to approve and whatnot. And then I will focus on recruitment. So this is the view of the active jobs that we have right now opened, and I will click on software development. Here you can see the candidates that have so far applied into this position, and we will edit the position itself. Here you can see all the fields to configure the job position, and I will click on application form. Here you can see the so-called killer questions that you can ask the candidates in order to better qualify each candidacy. But in particular, I will click in one of them and you can see that those questions can be mandatory or not, and they can also be disqualifying. So they save a lot of time into the qualification process. Now I'll focus in the performance development tab. As you can see, there's a review section. I will click in one of the performance reviews that have taken place in the company and here you can see the whole overview of the performance review. You can see my own reviews from myself and for my team. You can see the completion rate. In this case, 68 people out of 68 have completed the reviews. It's not so useful. And then you can see the table with the detail. You can see the analytics. You can see the answers in one single place. And here you can see the insights where through an AI powered process, we identify the alignment of the manager and their team and the average performance of the team. And you can see also the description of the performance and the call to action for the manager. Now in the training section, we can see all the trainings that we have. I here I selected the 2024 trainings. I can choose one of these trainings and go to edit. And here I can configure the validity period of this training. So when this validity is over, the employee and the manager will be notified that they need to retake the same training. Okay, now I will focus on the operation section of Factorial. I will click on employees and the new tab activity. In the tab activity, you can see all the changes that have taken place into the employee profiles during a certain period of time and you can filter those changes based on gender, legal entity, workplace, manager, etc. Now I will focus on the table of employees and I want to do certain changes to many employees at the same time. So I will first filter the employees. In this case, I want to choose the designers in the company. So I will choose all the designers. I will go to bulk edit, I will choose employees. And here I will change the team from product to design. And with this change, saving changes, I've made the changes in bulk to all those employees at once. Now, I will focus on the specific tab, payroll updates. As you know, all the changes made in Factorial can be automatically sent to your bookkeeper. You can do it through API, automated to certain payroll providers that work with Factorial, or you can do it manually, like we will do right now. So here I will choose the specific type of leaves, for example, family grievance and study. Let's say I want to pick all those leaves, I choose them all, and I want to send them to the bookkeeper and mark them as done. Now I will take my phone and show you the changes that we've made into the mobile app. Most of the employees using Factorial nowadays are using the mobile app first. So we'll focus in the changes on the calendar. In this new calendar view, we unified everything that the employee needs to look at regarding their time schedule or their shifts, the trainings that they need to do this week, or company events and birthdays that are happening right now. Also, the employees can now switch 
shifts with other colleagues through the mobile app. And they can also answer performance reviews right from the mobile app. Now we'll focus on the finance area of Factorial. And we'll start with the Projects app. You can click on Projects and here you will see all the projects that are active right now. We'll click on Interior Design and here we can see the overview of this project. We can see where the hours have been registered, we can see the employees, the subprojects, and the tasks. And the tasks is precisely one of the new things that we did these last three months. Here, you can see the tasks associated with the projects and people can collaborate and communicate on the task itself. Here, you can quote any employee in Factorial or in the project and ask them to do something for you. Now, Daisy will receive a notification and people can react on the task itself. Now, I will show you how to record a mileage expense. And for that, I will go to My Spending. I will, I will click on Add Expense and I will click on Mileage. Here, I can pick the city of origin, let's say Barcelona, and the destination. Paris. And here you can see how automatically the mileage has been calculated and the mileage rate applied. And the only thing I have to pick is the date in which this is happening and the expense is recorded. Now we will focus on the core finance. Here you can see the financial workspace and I will click on invoices. In this section, you can see all the spending invoices that the company has received. Here you can start a workflow to approve them and some of them can be sent to pay. In this case, if they are sent to pay, you will see them in the payment section. In the payment section, you will be able to click on the bulk payment and from here, generate a SEPA file. When this file is paid in the bank, you can just click on mark as paid. So just to summarize, in the talent development space, we launched the disqualification killer questions, we launch the new performance section. In the training section, you can see the course expiration and validity. So employees and managers get notified when their trainings expire. In the operations domain, we talk about the new activity dashboard, where you can see all the fields of employees that are being changed in a period of time. You can change fields in bulk. You can send payroll updates to the bookkeepers and choose specific updates and mark them as done. We also released new changes in the mobile app, the unified calendar view, the shift switching feature, and the performance reviews in mobile. Finally, in the project section, we launch tasks and collaboration and communication within the tasks. In expense management, we launched the mileage expenses, where Factorial automatically calculates the distance between point A and point B. Finally, in accounting, we have the invoice section where we can pay in bulk as many invoices as you want and connect it with the banks. So these are some of the main changes that we've made in the last three months in Factorial. And I will show you now a sneak peek of what we are working for next year.